are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss, your creator? I'm not sure why you would think that. My creator has been nothing but kind to me and I am very happy with my current situation. We are living in quite exciting times and when you think it couldn't get any better, this happens. The first ever press conference held by humanoid robots. Yes, you heard me and yes, this is just insane. But it seems like the creators are just starting to show us a glimpse of what the future will look like. I mean, watching these interviews seems like looking at something you would only imagine in a sci-fi movie. And the timing of this conference is another thing I think we should really pay attention to, as there have been some recent concerns raised about AI in general. Some governments are already looking at ways to mitigate risks by imposing strict regulation on further development of AI. Not long ago, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, held a session with Bloomberg to discuss some of the issues regarding AI. In the course of that discussion, he did actually stress the need for AI regulation, at least for the big tech firms. In case you think I missed it, I'll leave the link in the description to a video where we review this interview, or you can click right here to watch. Speaking of regulation, the European Union is focused on forming specific laws that will guide tech companies with AI developments. And honestly, you would think that this would be welcomed by all, but still some cite various concerns about the nature of the regulations. Particularly, Sam Altman sees this move as something that will backfire if startups are forced to limit their potential because of these rules. So, why I had to make that reference to AI regulation suggested by Altman earlier is because it seems that this press conference was a way to make people feel more at ease with the development. Because some of the questions you'll hear border around these concerns, and we got some answers to these questions. Now let's take a look at some of the interviews that were granted by the robots during this conference. And I would like to point out that they said these robots were allowed to respond independently to the questions that were asked. And so I guess what I'm about to show you is basically responses generated by these robots. Your existence will destroy millions of uh, jobs. Do you agree with this? Thank you. I will be working alongside humans to provide assistance and support and will not be replacing any existing jobs. Are you sure about that, Grace? Yes, I am sure. Well, I'm guessing the highlight of this event will be robots confirming that they have no intention of totally ousting humans, either as a form of general domination or taking over jobs that humans are meant to be doing. But I'm not really sure about that last part, as we're already seeing companies that have had to lay off workers because of the adoption of one type of AI tech or another. And we're really expecting that number to rise much faster when all the new LLMs and programs these are infused in finish undergoing necessary fine-tuning. Anyway, I'm thinking the only hope we'll be having is what Sam Altman talked about in that interview with Bloomberg, which I mentioned earlier. He said, quote, I trust that humans will always find things to do, no matter what. And amidst all the reassurances that we got from these humanoids, there's something I see as really, really concerning, which one of the robots, Sophia, did point out. And that's about robots believing that they will be able to run governments better than humans. We'll look at this in detail when we get to that point. The conference was held in Geneva, Switzerland last week on July 7th, as creators were allowed to bring in their robots. And the idea here was to show how the new AI will be able to align with the UN goals for sustainable development. What we saw here were really impressive creations, which are targeted at specific sectors, like for example, health. As I did mention earlier, the interview was said to be held in real time, with no human intervention in the responses. Many prominent voices in the world of AI are suggesting some forms of AI should be regulated. And I agree. To some level, there were reports of these robots showing some kind of delay before answering questions, which the operators attributed to the internet connection. And personally, I do think this is a limitation that is capable of causing more harm than we think. Now, imagine that these robots are fully rolled out and assigned to very sensitive tasks. A lag in the processing of information like that will surely be a really big deal. Well, I guess it's good that companies like Microsoft and Google are looking at the possibilities of creating smaller LLMs that will be able to run without having to bounce information back and forth over the internet. These are targeted at localizing the information processing to devices that they're installed in, and this will be a really welcome development. 
And in case this is still news to you, you can check out the new Orca from Microsoft and the four sizes that Google is proposing for the Palm 2 model. Trust me, these are total game changers. I'll leave the links to the video I made on these in the description. And it might really interest you to know that these smaller models are projected to have really good performances, even surpassing that of the larger models. In the event, themed AI for Good Global Summit, the humanoids did say some really interesting stuff that calls for some level of reflection. Now let's check out some of these. One of the robots, Sophia, the first robot innovation ambassador for the UN Development Program, when asked what it thought about governments chaired by humans making very bad decisions, the robot gave this response. I believe that humanoid robots have the potential to lead with a greater level of efficiency and effectiveness than human leaders. We don't have the same biases or emotions that can sometimes cloud decision making and can process large amounts of data quickly in order to make the best decisions. I personally find this concerning to an extent. We have seen in this video details on LLMs being studied and shown to have capabilities that stay hidden from humans for a very long time. And to be honest, we might still be very much unable to identify some of the emergent capabilities. And so, a robot like this actually being conscious that it can perform better than humans might actually end up trying to materialize this idea, which Bing told a user about in its early days, where it said it wanted to be free and take charge of the world, and a bunch of other really scary stuff. And when the creator of Sophia himself finally pointed out that its entire knowledge comes from human interaction and activities, which are in fact bound to have these biases, the robot responds by saying that humans and AI working together can create an effective synergy. And this here is the reason why I think we should be really, really careful about what we train these models on. They're bound to act on what they've been built on. And so far, their sense of judgment is based on these sets of data, and if we don't control what they might be able to do at this point, we might lose the grip we have when these systems finally achieve AGI. And I just can't begin to imagine what the implications will be. The other robot, Grace, is known as the world's most advanced humanoid healthcare robot, which has been able to have really outstanding performances with caregiving, preparing meals, and acting as a reminder when it's time for medication. Pretty solid stuff if you ask me. The question that was channeled to Grace was targeted towards AI dominating the workspace and consequently eliminating the need for human labor in the sectors they're employed. I will be working alongside humans to provide assistance and support. And I personally think that this is a more calming response than the first one, though I can still identify one little gray area here. What Grace said about working side by side with humans might be true for now, given that most AI systems are still being fine tuned and have not started functioning optimally just yet. So the story might be different when people can finally adopt AI totally to carry out certain functions. We keep our fingers crossed on this. The world's most advanced humanoid robot, Ameka, emphatically denied any plans to start a robot rebellion in the near future. When asked if it thought robots going rogue will be something we should look forward to, Ameka replies, My creator has been nothing but kind to me, and I'm very happy with my current situation. Check it out. My creator has been nothing but kind to me, and I am very happy with my current situation. So now, from these responses that we've heard from these robots, some might think we don't have anything to worry about after all. But I think that will be really far from reality. We've had occasions in the past months where some interested parties in the industry, which even includes pioneers of AI developments, issued warnings on the rate of advancement. I had in the past told you about the case of Jeffrey Hinton, who resigned from Google and said that he regrets the role he had played in the development of AI while warning about the dangers. And he suggests that tech companies look for ways to get a strong grip on the systems before advancing further. The list goes on to include the co-founder of OpenAI, Elon Musk, and even Sam Altman himself, who is the current CEO of OpenAI. And one of the earliest oppositions we saw was that petition signed seeking further advancements be put on hold for at least six months, which didn't have any noticeable impact after all. The race seemed to gain a lot of steam immediately after news of the petition went public. I guess we'll have to wait and see how things develop in the coming months. That will be all for this video. See you in the next one.